right here talks about you probably heard of fibromyalgia. Since I deal a lot with chronic pain and chronic fatigue, you better believe I deal with fibromyalgia. Chronic fatigue and pain is two of the mainstay symptoms of that condition. What this article is talking about right here is what I've just been telling you about. We know with the chronic pain, with the chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia, inflammation is the cause of that. What this article is talking about, what I've been telling you, is what's causing the inflammation in fibromyalgia that leads to the chronic pain and fatigue. This research article says mitochondrial dysfunction. Right there. Is inflammation a mitochondrial dysfunction dependent event in fibromyalgia? In this research article, it's funny, yes, it is. We have the inflammation that leads to chronic pain and fatigue. Where is this inflammation coming from? Dysfunctional mitochondria. What they really focus on here is all the inflammatory cytokines we talked about increased in these patients. Also, the reactive oxygen species I've been talking about, those free radicals, those were increased, but what was decreased? In this research article, you can see right there in those patients, what was decreased was CoQ10 for all those reasons we just talked about. If you have a deficiency in CoQ10, our mitochondria will not work the way they should. That will cause inflammation, that will cause pain, and that will cause fatigue. Again, talking about fibromyalgia, just the things we see in it, pain, fatigue, headaches, sleep disturbances, even depression. And again, we don't never, uh, but do I want to say never? I, I do want to say never. <laughs> do I see anything just in isolation? I will not have somebody come to me and just say, well, I have pain, but I don't have fatigue or anxiety or depression. No, it's almost always linked. I have pain, but you know what? I have fatigue. You know what? I'm depressed. Oh, I have anxiety too. Oh, and by the way, I can't sleep that good. It might not be on their intake form, but when I ask questions and I dig a little deeper, it's amazing the things that come out. Because why? Because you cannot put our body in isolation. You can't just say, oh, well, my knee and it's pain. And that's separated from my brain. That's separated from my heart. That's separated from my kidneys, my liver, my pancreas, my GI tract. Everything's connected. And that's part of my approach, too, is looking at everything combined the whole body. Just talks about here more of the deficiencies in fibromyalgia and mitochondrial dysfunction. You can see the deficiencies. Again, all of those building blocks your mitochondria need for energy CoQ10, or carnitine, the B vitamins, magnesium. Very powerful. Just a picture the root of pain right here is the damaged mitochondria. And you're asking about what's our mitochondria? That's a very good depiction of what the mitochondria in your cell look like. The one on the left is a damaged mitochondria. And the one on the right is a healthy mitochondria.